Hello callers, welcome to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on three developing stories. First and foremost, I want us to discuss about Iash Moriba and his situation right now, his contractual situation with Barcelona as things are not even looking promising when it comes to extending his contract. And of course, we've been hearing some reports of Chelsea and Leipzig putting an eye on him, but we don't know how true it is. But things are getting messy for this guy because La Liga has already started. We can't see Iash Moriba in the team neither do we even see Iash Moriba in our B team so what lie ahead of this guy's future we are going to be discussing in much details on this as we progress then secondly talking about one of our other La Masia product Ricky Push guys History has repeated itself because report has it that Ronald Koeman has told Ricky Puch to look for a club for loan because he does not have him on his plans this season. Exactly what he said to Ricky Puch, we quite remember when he was appointed Barcelona boss last summer. But I personally don't think this is right for Koeman. Of course, from every indication, Koeman is not even trying to show it. To the public that he likes that guy and of course against to say that we do not even see Ricky Puch at any spot in that game which just tells you that exactly the same thing the same treatment he gave to Ricky Puch, exactly what will happen this season and of course as per reports Coleman is trying to tell him to go for load but again Ricky Puch is resisting that is the thing Ricky Puch is resisting that he wants to fight for his place this season but i'll kindly advise him to do that because i personally do not like the situation that rookie push with so much great talent you no know, sitting on the bench throughout last season and of course he's still insisting on that so guys we are going to be discussing much more on this story as we move ahead then to conclude we are going to be talking about this good news as barcelona have just been handed a fitness boost as oscar Mingesa is ready for training and of course he will likely future in that game on saturday against athletic club bibaho so colors as we get ready to discuss those stories please endeavor to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so so you always stay up to date with the latest barcelona news transfer rumors and many more Barcelona and EX Moriba's representatives had been negotiating a renewal for almost two months, but an agreement is not at all close between the parties, you know. Many of us were proposed on the table by the club, but neither of them have been able to satisfy Moriba's agents, a situation which creates a lot of uncertainty around the player's future, whose will was to stay and renew his contract at Barca. So, Barcelona had set, you know, 8th of August as the deadline for the situation to be resolved. Lo and behold, Today is the 18th of August and Moriba's future in Spain looks to be getting increasingly further away. The club confirmed that it would take matters into their own hands should the situation not get resolved by the deadline. Now, with the Catalan club not intending to make any further proposals, you know, they are ready to hear offers from Moriba. As far as the asking price is concerned, they want around 15 to 20 million euros. Many clubs from England are keeping the tabs on the situation, with Chelsea being one of them. In Germany, RB Leipzig have shown a concrete interest in the 18-year-old midfielder. So the situation is tense and the club won't be flexible with him. So if Ias Moriba doesn't end up leaving in these final two weeks of the window, it is very likely that the player will not only miss games with the first team but with the B team as well. So he will just train and spend the season in the stands, something he is reportedly willing to do. So President Juan Laporta addressed his situation during Emerson's Royal Representative and had made his thoughts very very clear. You know, he said, we will try to make sure that this case is not repeated anymore. He has, he has one year left on the contract and does not want to accept the club's condition. We do not accept that and we want to send a message to them. You know, if you do not want to renew, there are other solutions. What we don't want are players made at La Masia who don't want to renew. He's a player we have given opportunities, you know, but the club is above all. I would like you, Moriba, to think again. We cannot allow him to be promoted to the first team and then leave. We won't accept that with any Barca player. Then on to the next story of discussion. According to reports from Card Radio, history has repeated itself with respect to Ricky Puch situation at Barcelona. Last season, Ronald Koeman made his exclusion of the La Masia graduate from his plans well known publicly. The youngster was asked to move on loan to another team where he could continue his development and necessity at his young age. So Ricky Push chose not to move on and stood his ground at Barca. The midfielder was adamant on winning the manager's trust and earning minutes in the competitive squad. That however did not materialize as the youngster was only awarded 581 minutes of first team action during the course of the season. This season too, 
Ronald Koeman has reportedly asked Ricky Puig to look for other options to move on loan. However, the academic glory continues to be adamant. Card Radio at that, the midfielder feels he had a good preseason enough to convince him of a possible breakthrough season. You know, that has been said. He is determined to stay once again to fight for his spot. So, Koeman, you know, has the emergency of many young stars at Barcelona to his name. Pedri, Araujo, Mingesa, Des, and more recently Nico and Gavi, two owe their opportunities to the Dutchman, you know. So, however, the academic glory continues to be other man. And, of course, he's a fan favorite. I'm his, I'm his fan as well. However, Ricky Push has never received any such favors from Ronald Koeman. I really don't know why. The young lad has had, you know, going rough times and moving for minutes does not seem a bad idea anymore. So, in the preseason, the midfielder got his chances and made them count, you know. His screamer of a goal against Juve capped off what was an impressive display in that Juan Gampa trophy against Juventus. So, as I did said earlier, I personally think Ricky Pierce going for loan this time around. Of course, if he sees that Ronald Koeman will not count on him, of course, it would be a great idea if he does that because I can't even bear to watch Ricky Pierce being on the bench again like last season because the talent he's got is not supposed to be wasted on the bench. So, just comment on your own opinion below on what you think. Do you think Ricky Pierce staying for Barca, fighting for a minute is worthwhile or he should go for more development so that Ronald Koeman can see what he can do to another team. Then on to the final story of this episode. Barcelona have been handed an injury boost as they prepare for their second La Liga fixture of the season. The Blaugrana kicked off the new season with an impressive 4-2 win over Real Sociedad over the weekend and they will be looking to build on that with another tough clash this weekend you know when they make the trip to Bibaho to take on Athletic Club. Ahead of the trip to the Basque country you know Barcelona have welcomed defender Oscar Mingueza to training. Mingueza picked up an injury during the Olympics with Spain and returned straight to the treatment room at Barca. But according to Mundo Deportivo, Mingueza returned to training this morning and played a small part. It's unlikely the 22-year-old will be able to future this weekend, but he's on track to return to full fitness in the coming week. That will be a very big boost for Ronald Koeman as he looks to improve his depth at centre-back, especially with Samuel Umtiti being touted for an exit. Mingueza made 27 La Liga appearances you know, for Barca last season, starting 23 times, and he is very much liked by Koeman, even if he is not likely to be one of the starting centre-backs this season. So, Colors, with that, we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video. And I also hope you subscribe to the channel. Endeavor to subscribe if you haven't and turn on the post bell notification so you always stay notified whenever I post a video. Until next time, bye-bye.